Your chances of winning the lottery are about 1 in 300 million. But sometimes something so crazy happens that it creates a 1 in a billion lottery moment. These stories sound impossible, but we guarantee they're all 100% true. So strap in, it's gonna be pretty mind blowing. Number 7. The Very Fortunate Winners Back in 2003, an incredible stroke of fortune sent the organizers of the Powerball Lottery into a spin. Before we tell you what it was, you need to know that in a normal draw, there are between 1 and 4 lucky people who win the second tier Powerball prize. That's the prize one step below the jackpot. But this draw was very different. That's because somehow there were a whopping 110 winners of the second tier prize. The lottery organizers were not happy about this for more than one reason. Firstly, these lower tier prizes don't work like the jackpot. If multiple people win the jackpot, they have to split the prize evenly between them. But if you win the second tier prize, it's fixed. That means no matter how many winners there are, you're going to get the amount of money that was advertised by the lottery without needing to split it with other lucky winners. So 110 winners of these prizes meant the Powerball suddenly needed to pay out a crazy amount of money. Out of these 110 winners, 89 of them won the ordinary second tier prize of 100 grand. But the 21 winners who were lucky enough to add the optional power play addition to their ticket that multiplied their second tier prize took home a whopping half a million dollars. That meant the Powerball unexpectedly had to pay out an incredible 19 million in total. But there was another problem. How did all these people know what numbers to pick? It's definitely statistically out of the ordinary. They obviously thought some kind of fraud might be involved. But when they couldn't find anything, they started thinking that maybe all these people were handed the winning numbers somehow. So they turned to the media, checking all TV shows over the last week in case someone had mentioned those numbers. They even checked magazines and replayed episodes of the classic shows Lost and The Young and the Restless. They checked those shows specifically, not just because they were playing on TV at the time, but because they had mentioned lottery numbers in some episodes. But the numbers didn't match. So, lottery officials were instructed to grill anyone who came in to collect a second tier prize. Finally, they cracked the secret. As unbelievable as it sounds, they'd been given the winning numbers by a fortune cookie. And the fortune cookie wasn't far off a jackpot. The wrong number was the sixth number in the cookies list, which was 40, instead of the jackpot winning number, which was 42. That was pretty close. This probably won't ever happen again because the company that makes the fortune cookies are using computers to pick the numbers now, so there isn't as much chance of repeating numbers. So these fortune cookies were a little more fortunate than normal. That story proves that luck is real, but some say the luckiest thing on earth is having a good friend. The next story on our list might prove that's true. Number 6. Phyllis Penzo and Robert Cunningham Nicolas Cage has made a huge comeback recently, which means you might have come across the 1994 rom-com It Could Happen to You. The thing about that film is, most people don't realize it's based on a true story, and we can't blame them. It seems almost impossible. Unlike the film, the real story isn't a romance. We're gonna tell you what really happened. Back in 1984, a New York police detective named Robert Cunningham was sitting at his favorite place to eat, South Pizzeria in Yonkers. He'd been visiting that pizza place for years, but not just for the food. Phyllis Penzo had been a waitress at that pizza joint for about 25 years, and she'd struck up a friendship with the detective about 15 years ago. Over all that time, they'd become closer and closer. They were practically best friends now. That day, Robert realized he didn't have as much money on him as he thought, so he asked Phyllis if he could tip her with a lottery ticket instead. It was kind of a joke, but their friendship meant they were used to teasing each other that way. So instead of getting offended, Phyllis agreed. 
They sat down and picked the numbers together, and they made a pact to split whatever they won. Obviously, neither of them really thought the ticket was going to win anything. So you can only imagine how shocked Robert was when he checked the ticket after the draw and realized it was a jackpot winner. He immediately called Phyllis. He excitedly gave her the good news, but there was one problem. It was April Fool's Day. So obviously, she didn't believe a word of it. It took a lot of time, but Robert finally managed to convince her. She was so excited that her yelling woke up her husband. But we know what you're all wondering. How much did Phyllis get from that tip? Well, the jackpot was a whopping $6 million. Robert stuck to his word, splitting the win 50-50, which meant he tipped the New York waitress a whopping $3 million. That's a lot better than small change, right? Friends can clearly bring you a lot of luck, but family might be even better as this one in a billion moment proves. Number 5. Nicole Padneau and Roger LaRoque Canadian couple Nicole Padneau and Roger LaRoque did one good deed and were rewarded in a big way. One day, their grandson came to them for help. He needed to do a school project about Japan and he needed some materials. They happily helped him. While looking for something that might be useful to him, Nicole pulled an old book about Japan off her bookshelf. She'd nearly forgotten about the book, so she flipped through the pages. To her surprise, a lottery ticket fell out of the book and onto the floor. As she saw the ticket, she remembered that she'd actually put it into the book months ago before forgetting about it completely. She decided to check the ticket. The couple was shocked to discover the Lotto Quebec ticket in their hands was a winner. It was worth a whopping 1 million Canadian dollars. That's about 750,000 American dollars. But as we already mentioned, Nicole had hidden the ticket in the book months ago. Now the school project suddenly turned into a frantic rush to figure out if they could still claim the ticket. In case you don't know, lottery tickets expire. If you miss the date, you can't claim your prize. They found their answer on the lottery's website. It said the ticket was valid for one year from the draw. When they checked the date on the ticket, they couldn't believe what they saw. The draw had happened almost exactly one year ago. They had found it just in time. They had two days left to claim their million dollar prize. But if they hadn't agreed to help their grandson with his school presentation, they would have missed their chance to be millionaires. It just goes to show that a good deed can go a long way. That's definitely a cute story. So brace yourself because the next story on our list is anything but cute. Number 4. Bill Morgan The odds are against you when you're trying to win the lottery. But Bill Morgan's odds were way worse than most people. That's because before he ever got round to winning the lottery, he died. I'll explain what happened, but the explanation won't make this story any more believable. Anyway, here we go. Bill was a truck driver. One day in 1998, he was driving his truck across Australia. It should have been an ordinary work day, so Bill had no idea this was going to be the day he died. Along his journey, he unexpectedly crashed his truck. The accident was so bad that he only narrowly avoided being completely crushed. Amazingly, he survived, but not by much. He needed urgent care if he was going to stay that way. He was rushed to the hospital where doctors injected him with a drug that should have helped to save his life. Only it did exactly the opposite. The doctors didn't know it, but he was severely allergic to the drug. The accident didn't kill him, but the drug immediately caused his heart to stop beating. And that was how Bill died. Normally, that would be the end of the story. But then, we wouldn't be telling it. Against all odds, a full 14 minutes later, the doctors restarted Bill's heart. It was a modern miracle, except that Bill never woke up. He was technically alive. But after a week of being in a coma, the doctors advised his family to take him off life support. The family gathered to talk it over, and they realized they all had the same strange feeling that Bill was going to be just fine. They refused to take the doctor's advice. 
turned out to be the best decision they ever made. On the twelfth day of his coma, Bill woke up. Obviously, the family might have just been hopeful. They couldn't have known that would happen. But either way, they were right. That decision was Bill's first big stroke of luck. His next bit of good luck was discovered straight away. Despite the horrible accident and, well, death, Bill had woken up without any serious health problems. As impossible as it sounds, it was almost like nothing had ever happened to him. He was feeling pretty good about that, so he started his new life by proposing to his girlfriend. She said yes, of course. A little while later, he bought a scratch-off lottery ticket. You'd think Bill had already had his fair share of good luck, but it turned out it wasn't over yet. He'd won a brand new car. It was around this time that the media heard about Bill's unbelievable story. They wanted to meet him and share what had happened to him with the world. This is where the story gets even more impossible than you ever imagined, except it's 100% true. As part of their interview with Bill, the news station asked him to recreate his lottery win on camera for live TV. The easiest way to do that was to just follow Bill into the store, watch him actually buy a lottery ticket, and then let him scratch it off while the cameras were rolling. So that's what they did. When Bill scratched off the ticket and turned to the camera saying he'd won, they thought he was just showing them what it was like when he'd won the car. But it wasn't. He'd actually won again. Live on camera, he'd scratched off a ticket worth 250,000 Australian dollars. That's over 160,000 USD. It's pretty lucky the cameras captured it all, or nobody would ever believe Bill's story. There's no doubt Bill was incredibly lucky, but he sure didn't win as much money as the next person on our list. Number 3. Evelyn Adams Evelyn Adams worked in a convenience store in New Jersey before she did something that's almost impossible. She won the lottery jackpot not just once, but twice within just one year. If you think the odds of you winning once are against you, just imagine what the odds are of winning two jackpots so close together. In October of 1985, she started her lucky streak by winning a whopping $3.9 million. That was a pretty impressive jackpot back in those days. But it wasn't the last bit of luck Evelyn would have with the lottery. Just four months later, she won another jackpot. This time, it was another huge $1.2 million. Together, her wins come to a total of 5.1 mil. Let's face it, even today, that's a pretty good jackpot. Just imagine how it must have felt to win that in the mid-80s. So how did she achieve the impossible? Well, it might have had something to do with the $100 a week she spent on tickets. She clearly had a bit of a gambling problem, and winning two lottery jackpots only made her believe she'd keep winning even more. But she didn't. Her lucky streak ran out, and she lost all the money from those two incredible jackpots by blowing it at the casinos. Sadly, even though she should have been set for life if she'd been smart and invested her jackpots, she was eventually forced to move into a mobile home. She wasted all her one in a billion luck and ended up broke. Evelyn ruined all her luck. But the next person on her list had so much luck that he could spread it to someone else. Number 2. Gilbert Arenas This is the only person on our list who was famous before winning the lottery. In case anyone doesn't know, Gilbert Arenas is a three-time NBA All-Star. Basically, he's a pretty big deal. The other thing you need to know about him is that he's earned more than $160 million over his career but he still loves playing the lottery. He plays the same numbers at the same gas station every time he buys a ticket. But on the day we're talking about, he was late. He had only eight minutes to get to his favorite gas station store before it closed, and he had no gas in his tank. He made a quick stop at a different gas station on the way to fill up with the last $10 he had in his car. But while he was at the gas station, a homeless man came up to Arenas to ask if he could spare any change. 
Arenas explained the situation and said he'd give the man $5, so he'd still have $5 left for gas. But the man refused to take it. That was the moment that this story turned into a one in a billion moment. The kind-hearted homeless man said he didn't think $5 worth of gas wasn't enough for Arenas to get where he wanted to go. Instead, he told Arenas to keep the $10, play the lottery, and bring him $20 when he wins. The man seemed 100% certain Arenas was about to win. Arenas thanked him and drove off, but when he arrived at his favorite gas station, it was already closed. There was nothing he could do. He just went back home and didn't think much about it. The next morning, he received a text saying he'd won 300 grand. But he hadn't played the lottery, so he figured it was just a scam. We've all been there. But he decided to drive over to his favorite gas station again to pick up a ticket for the next draw. He was shocked when he was greeted by the owner, who came running out the store yelling that Arenas had won. Obviously, he was pretty confused. How could he have won when he never even bought a ticket? But it turned out the owner of the store had closed his shop early. He knew that meant Arenas was going to miss out. So, because he knew the numbers Arenas always played, he just bought a ticket for him. He'd been the one who texted Arenas about his $300,000 win. But something even more amazing had happened. The win meant the homeless man was right. Arenas had won just like he said, and Arenas hadn't forgotten. He immediately went to find that homeless man. Nobody has revealed how much he gifted the man who had selflessly refused his $5, but we can bet it was a life-changing amount. As mind-blowing as that story is, it's going to look pretty normal when compared with the last big win on our list. Number 1. Deborah Brown This story is so crazy that you're going to find it hard to believe, even in a list of hard-to-believe stories. But it sure looks like it's 100% true. Deborah Brown from Richmond, Virginia won the lottery a mind-blowing 30 times in just one day. If you're hoping we're going to give you a rational explanation for this, you're out of luck. There isn't one. Here's what really happened. While Deborah was out running errands one day, she bought a stack of 20 pick four tickets. For some reason, she chose exactly the same numbers for all 20 tickets. 1, 0, 3, 1. We're guessing those must be her lucky numbers because we're not sure why else she would do that. Anyway, she then went about her day. But she said in interviews later that she kept seeing the numbers everywhere she went. So on her way home, she stopped at the store again. This time, she bought another 10 tickets, again with all the same numbers. Like I said, there's no rational explanation here. But she'd picked the right numbers. They'd won. That meant that all 30 of the tickets she bought were winners. The jackpot for pick four games is five grand, meaning she took home $150,000. Sure, it's not the biggest jackpot on this list, but winning 30 times in one day has got to be as close to impossible odds as you can get. These might be the craziest stories about lottery winners out there, but there's a darker side of winning the lottery. Not all crazy stories are as uplifting as the one in a billion moments on this list. Want to know what you're missing? Watch our list of the craziest lottery stories that will give you nightmares.